What's up guys, thank you for clicking on the video. So in this one, I'm just gonna give a little bit of insight into the week that we had the engineers uh, here from overseas to do some updates on the C6 that you can see behind me, uh, as well as the fact as we have the uh, XLR, did some work on the C5. So in this video, I'm just gonna basically go over some of the details of all of what we did uh, this past uh, six days. And uh, I will kind of summarize real quickly before we get to the video that we do have a significant update coming out for the C6 Max DIN. Uh, so once I have that all packaged, uh, it will be distributed and I will put out an email alert and post to everybody in the group to be able to download that onto a USB and update your Max DIN. We made changes to the HVAC, uh, to some of the ways that the unit operates. Uh, we added some uh, other functions and controls that had been missing. Uh, and so we feel good about the updates that we did for that. It took about 40 hours. Um, we have other things and details going on with XLR and C5. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So stick around. You're watching Night Drive TV. I always wanted to build fast cars, so self-taught I started with engine swaps, composites in my apartment to multiple shops, tuning, fabrication, and more. Ten years later, the big time. SEMA, Speed TV, a climb from nothing, but I lost it all. This is my new ride, Night Drive TV. Failure is not an option. Us car guys keep banging the gears of life. Special thanks to Bryce and Cedric uh, for allowing us to basically test and just establish a baseline uh, with your C6s. It's much appreciated. Got a yellow Grand Sport, right? So what's your yeah. name? Bryce. Bryce. So Bryce, uh, you live local, obviously, and yep. reached out on Facebook. He has the Max Den in the car. Had it since when? When did you get it? Uh, the Max Den or the car? Well, Max Den. When Max did you Den. throw it in there? Uh, I'd probably say about a year ago. Oh, really? So you were yeah. one of the early, yeah, it was, early in. Pretty early. Yeah. How'd you find out about it? Uh, you know, I think it was from a SEMA thing, probably. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, so def oh my God, he's validating so. some money I spent at SEMA. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, that was the biggest, worst investment I feel like I made, but I just had to do it. So, so yeah, we got a 2010 Grand Sport. He's got the Bose. Oh, he's got Colorado plates. You're a Colorado guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, nice car. Who doesn't love a yellow Corvette? It goes after the, the race team. <laughs> Luckily we're yellow again, so he's gonna leave it here for the sake of all you guys. He's donating his specimen. We certainly appreciate it. I'm sure those guys appreciate it. You guys appreciate it? Oh yeah. So we're back. We got a couple cars here. I did not catch the one guy on uh, camera, but we have, there he is, the return, the return. <laughs> and then we got Emma. Hi. Emma has returned. So you got on the plane in Houston, straight yeah. to here, and yeah. now you're wore out. They All flew right. in from Canada. They flew from Canada? Mm -hmm. Oh man, what were they doing up there? We have a different project over there. Mm. So over the next couple days, we would be digging into the C5, finalizing a lot of details there, moving Lace's car back out of the shop and working on a customer car and really trying to dial in on the things that have been a little bit of elusive over the past year. Uh, we did jump into the GMT 800 platform. We're doing some, maybe some preliminary testing there to try and see what we think. And of course, XLR was on the block, but it was a tiring week. Making progress. So what you got there? Uh -huh. prototype. Oh, you got secret stuff. That's in the here. first prototype. You oh. got it. Where did you get it? You brought it. Emma's finding problems. That's what she does. She's watching over things. All right. Well, they are off. Emma's off. She needs sleep. See She's tired. Tomorrow. Too much travel for one day. All right. It is the next day. Uh, they've arrived. And so throughout last night, I talked to some of you guys on the C6 group, uh, maxed in group, uh, basically uh, Dalton and Kelby and a couple other guys there gave me some information. So we tested, I tested some stuff last night. We're gonna work on that here today. So I've already shown them a couple of uh, videos uh, that Jamie, I think your name is, um, you had sent uh, some issues that you had with uh, activating certain buttons and it seems like more of a bug than anything. So uh, we're gonna go through that now. So I'm gonna jump in there and we're gonna see what we can figure out today. Pulls 
that. So he sees. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, adjustment time. Adjustment time. Adjustment. Time. He felt. He experienced, and no words necessary. See, exactly. that's good. <laughs> so he's getting to where. Look, he's just he's on it. <laughs> More China. They just stay here. Bring bring the family over to the southern border. We just do it here. <laughs> uh, your immigration department want to free. They let them. You got to just come through the bottom. I told you this. <laughs> just come through the bottom. From Mexico or from here? Here, from Mexico. They just you get some rice. You get a backpack. You need some rice, Emma, because y'all need some rice. <laughs> and then. Just a couple of water and rice, and y'all will make it. All right, so I don't know if you can hear me. I'm just going to check some things. He made some changes. I'll let you know what I found. Feels a lot better. So that was a big, that was a big improvement. Uh, should eliminate that issue for you guys. Um, so reprogram the whole system. So that's going to be an update for sure. All right, we're gonna trying to do some delay, work some delay in when you shut off the car. And so that's what we've been trying to work with. Some of the system shutdown options and things like that. So I'm going to try and turn Axel Rose down here on the shut off. As you can see, we still have the delay. And then the idea was that you should be able to push the button. And then there you go. A lot has been learned today. Overall, I feel good about the, the C5 unit. I think it's on track. Uh, the C6, I have a, a deeper and better understanding of the systems, uh, the limitations of the system, why those limitations may or may not exist. So there's a lot of stuff I kind of have to continue to work through, talk to them about, and we have six days to do it. So uh, we'll, we'll see, you know, so uh, a lot of updates on C5 are still in motion. So I'll show you guys some of that. I mean, I've been doing a lot of 3D scanning on the car. I uh, really, besides revamping all the night drive TV, she's been moving stuff all over the place, which I may have shown. I don't know what I've shown in this I don't video. Even know. So we redid the shipping and we redid, uh, you know, we're working in the shop trying to make it a bit more efficient. So uh, obviously, working towards getting the bezels done, there was another step that I had to go through. Uh, this is another process that's just kind of a, it, it's a churning game that, you know, there are things that I'm learning and finding out and it's like anything it, you you would think that bezels and plastic parts are basic but there there are some complexities to all this stuff and working with companies with this limited this this bit of a barrier uh is always tricky and and so for those people to say well just you know that's why you need american companies and all this stuff you, you can't do this stuff uh with american companies i mean it's you know a lot of this stuff there's a lot of limitations costs I'm always trying to get give you guys a better deal, so I'm always trying to find a better deal myself. Got you excited. I'm real excited. He already got this thing working up in here. Oh, he took it out. Oh, oh, you, oh. <laughs> So he's, he's going away. You sound better than the stock units. Ready? I think, yeah. Cool. He's just doing a couple small changes, and then I guess he's just going to make this work up in your truck, bro. Martin, just a little tape. Yeah. Velcro, the prototype action. We just got to trap these guys here. Yeah. <laughs> just Let imagine it. You can keep them. No, Emma, Let you're staying. <laughs> if anybody, we keep, we're keep keeping you. Scabbing you something out of it. Oh, man. We got thousands of dollars here going out of drink. <laughs> I'm testing, Emma. I need replacements. He's trying to get some audio working. Look at you. Look at you. Backseat anticipation. <laughs> that looks good. He's connected. There's nothing good out there for this. No, no nothing this good. What we need. There's nothing good out there. You think? Crap. You sure? Yeah, it's crap. People bypass the Bose stuff. It sounds like terrible. Yeah. This, this plugs into the Bose, plugs into that. Sounds good. Everyone gathered around the Suburban. So I guess we're going to do this GMT thing. So we got a lot done on this car. We're going to be finishing this one up here and uh we've got a lot of things done with this uh got a lot of progress on this so we're going to be good on these two um we're working on some c7 stuff uh this and the xlr so i will say i did not think that i would be doing you know <laughs> these units for all these cars 
it's just once we established the relationship, we kind of kept kept going from there. And you know, I I like keeping it all GM. These are the ones that are going to be exclusive to me, and then you know we'll, we'll see what happens. But getting there. We both had Smitty built. He had the Smitty built Overland XL. I had the regular Overlander. I ended up going to the Roof Nest. I had decided that I wanted simplicity. I found a Roof Nest XL, paid loot. Loot! I go on the freaking website and I'm like, it is was half off. Yeah. Liquidation, so I told him, so he grabbed the damn thing for half of what I paid. Which is still more than a lot. the Smitty built. Still, even half is still Double, way more. Almost half. It used to take us, I mean, if you were hustling, Locked and loaded, if everything you didn't up. Set everything up. You just needed to get it open. Yeah, and like get in. Probably about 15 minutes. Yeah. So here it is. Let me see it because I haven't even seen the inside of it yet because I got it for the damn Hummer. So a little latch, Velcroed on there. Interesting. Oh my God! Look and you're just look at that. You can't, you can't beat that. So yeah, we had uh, we got kind of hung up on the XLR with the audio not working and they just kind of did a real quick like yeah we need a head unit so kind of pushed them to get back in there and see if they can figure it out so we kind of started off smoothly uh getting this xlr kind of forward uh we really started to see the week fall apart this car started to give us a bunch of problems uh one hvac solution led to another problem and another and uh things kind of just fell apart so I'm going through the edit here, and I realize I'm making this a bit of a fear piece. <laughs> so I want everybody with the C6 to know uh, we did get through a lot of uh, challenges and got through a lot of different things. We were really focused on the HVAC, uh, refining some things that a lot of you guys had pointed out, as well as trying to work through the Bose system to just see if we can optimize the output and maybe troubleshoot and try and figure out some workarounds. So... I worked with them a lot uh, trying to figure out some solutions uh, to maybe try and rectify what the exact issue was because some people have said they felt the base was a little bit lacking. Um, so of course we're going to address that. And then there were some other uh, things that people had brought up over the past year that we wanted to also get into. And I'll show some of those in the video here. So uh, the C6 worked out great for the week. I mean, we put uh, probably easily 30 hours into uh the c6 probably more between multiple people um but tr just trying to like get that really short up and, and you know the idea is to mature the unit uh even further so i feel like uh, really positive about the c6 uh things kind of went awry with the c5 um i think the unit's okay and i think we're going to get done but my car uh you know it just becomes this uh this project mule this 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 test dummy for night drive tv and i was having some major uh electrical issues and so uh they were able to pretty much finish up the unit and uh i really hope that we've got it right with uh the hvac but i'm a little concerned and so i'm really working hard as i'm editing and doing this this week uh it's like uh, so it's june 18th right now and so for the next five or six days i'm going to really try and get the the car shored up. Um, I'm having no comms. I'm having some type of serial bus uh, issue. And so I'm having communication problems between the body control module and the powertrain control. And um, so I'm, I'm working through that to figure out if I have a short on the serial bus somewhere, uh, on the serial line itself, or or if we just have some other issue happening. So what maybe, I, you know, I put these cars on chargers a lot. And I'm forcing a lot of power into them and I'm just I'm wondering you know what might have happened so that kind of fell apart and was putting us off track with the Z5 the XLR uh, I had donated obviously all my components from the XLR that I have uh, to them to dismantle and basically reverse engineer what they needed to well they did not recall that I didn't have the unit then so when we got uh, everything here and they flew here uh, they said, where's the factory head unit? I said, I don't have one. And it was, it was Saturday. Um, so we went through the weekend, but obviously trying to overnight one or something, it wouldn't have been here on time. So I literally uh, got into a real conflict over this XLR and I'm going to make a separate XLR video, uh, for this reason. But, uh, the XLR is in a very unique, uh, position 
And um, I don't want to say that it's it's um, it's not going to happen. The C6, uh, we've made it through the threshold that worried us with C6. Uh, C5 is I'm much more hopeful of the success of that unit um, than I've seen with the C6. Um, but I, you know, we really the pressure on me has changed. So uh, we really need to uh, get it done right and just get get the sell through to happen with C5. Um, the issue is is that the faith is a little bit um, compromised a little. Um, so the XLR, they're being much more cautious with how much they're willing to invest, I think. And um, the issue was is I put out some ads and I said, hey, you know, not ads, but you know, I put out some alerts that I needed some assistance with the XLR. And um, you know, lo and behold, I think they, 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 they understand we have to really see the indicators that the community is, is behind it. Of course, 20, 30 people, you know, they can be real excited about it, but we need to hit thresholds that are at least three or 400 pieces. So uh, I think it's gonna be a long shot for the XLR. We will continue to move forward in an affordable manner, but before we start making molds, and this is the molds that <laughs> these mold issues with plastic parts, uh, especially when clips get complex and the size of the, the pieces get larger, uh, the investment goes up significantly. So, um, you know, th it's just something we have to think about. So inevitably, uh, I could not get another head unit for the XLR. And uh, with the time that I had remaining, uh, people had started tagging Video Bob, and Video Bob is a guy from Vegas. What's up, me heavy metal maniacs? Uh, very interesting character. Okay, everybody, check it out. I'm at Vamped. That's Danny Coker's place, the guy from Counting Cars. Uh, I didn't want to go to his house and uh, throw my camera around or anything, but Video Bob has his own channel. Now, I brought my Scooby van tonight for van night. It is van night here at Vamped. Uh, he's done some XLR videos, but he's a cover guy, the front man for Judas Priest. He's the uh, the announcer for Kiss. You know, he became friends with those guys and uh, and he builds Back to the Future DeLorean uh, replicas, so. Hey, what's happening? I'm Video Bob and this is our 46 DeLorean time machine. This is a 1982 DeLorean. Uh, he's an interesting guy and uh, he lives here in Vegas and he had an XLR and he just, you know, he, he talked to us about, you know, maybe you guys could come over and test it, but then he kind of got to the point that he wasn't going to keep it. Uh, the unit really wasn't of any interest to him. And uh, so he said, I'll just sell you the XLR if you want it. And I, r I really was not expecting to have to buy uh, another XLR. <laughs> Uh, and my thinking, to be honest with you, was very close to just calling off the whole deal. Um, I thought about it. I was really resistant. Uh, mentally, I was really back and forth over it. And, you know, I convinced myself to do it only because, you know, I can, I can quickly resell the car. I think uh, he gave it to me at a good enough price that I, I don't think I'm stuck with it. And, um, and you know, I, I think inevitably I can make a cool car for myself. Uh, even if I'm the only one that has it. So uh, we'll see. You know, we, we will do a prototype on the XLR that is much more complete and compatible. I think we uh, what we discovered with the XLR is obviously there's, well, not obviously, there's, there's two separate buses in uh, the XLR. And so I think it was due to the nature of the timing that they developed the XLR. Um, it, it has a CAN bus system in it, uh, but it also kind of has a, I think like a serial, like a class two serial data bus, kind of like the C5 has. Um, so it, point being, there are two buses in the car and one bus kind of runs certain components and things and another bus runs another thing and they're separate. So what that requires is we do a hardware change on the prototype. So um, not a big deal, but it was definitely surprising. So again, this adds complexity and cost to the XLR unit, which I think is, Concerning. I, I did want to get into um, lighting for XLR people, but you know the community just might not be there. It might not be large enough and involved enough. So uh, I wanted to do it, but you know at the end of the day, obviously I'm most focused on C5. Uh, I had an extensive talk with uh, with Emma about um, the fact that the C5 unit will be coming out with a newer hardware set. 
um, which allows us some opportunities um, that it would take a C6 version 2 uh, to come out with obviously technology updates year after year. So um, it opens some opportunities for us to do some very interesting things with C5. And I expressed my interest to really focus on the C5 community the, the most uh, for the time being until we, we can see what happens um, throughout the summer and into the fall with the C6 unit. So overall, I mean, my focus, I think I, I still am very dedicated to the C5. I want to get forward with carbon parts and different things like that. So this is, uh, this is about a nine minute summary. Um, I hope it gives you some insight into what I'm doing. I hope you folks understand this is, uh, this is tricky and, uh, you know, it's just me, Lace and Kelsey, uh, working out of a, a building and, and behind our house in Las Vegas. So, um, we're trying to do our best to make deals, uh, to make things happen. And I'm pushing, you know, the company as hard as I can and trying to keep efficiencies in place, trying to do the things that we need to do, uh, to keep everything moving and, uh, and, and keep it organized and keep it, uh, safe in the sense that I can take risks, you know, win and lose here and there. And, uh, but just overall hope I can win enough that I can keep going. So that's a wrap on this video. I'm not really going to go any further. I will update the C5 specifically in another video and I will do XLR in another video as well, but it's been a while, uh, two and a half months since I put up a video. Uh, these videos are exhausting. Uh, because of the workload that I have otherwise. So I've really had to prioritize doing what I think everybody out there probably wants me to do, and they've been vocal about it. Uh, how about stop playing with your cars and playing with your videos and uh, and doing all this crap? I get emails, you know, people are like, how about you get to work on my stuff instead of, you know, posting pictures of, uh, you know, you out and about doing whatever, going out to dinner. So, you know... Um, I'm just going to focus on what we need, but we have a lot coming when it comes to the the coins. Um, I have some new containers for these. Um, very, it's late. <laughs> very updated stuff. Um, very cool. And um, there's just a lot coming. There's a lot I've been doing in the past two and a half months as I put this all aside. So that's it, guys. Catch you on the next one.